Welcome to Fishtails. In my last video I talked about using a muddler for crappie and I dug around in my fly stuff and I can't find that little booger but I do remember exactly how to make it. It's actually a fairly simple tie. It involves a bucktail and some feathers and in this case black feathers. I'm going to use those feathers that have this real neat iridescent ends of them. I think that'll work great. I'm going to layer this thing together with black bucktail. I, I might try to use some gray bucktail in the back of the fly. So it's it's gray in the back and then I may use some of this marabou dropping it all over the place. I haven't quite figured. I never know until I actually get to building the fly what I'm going to make. Alright, let's get busy. I'm going to use some, this is actually rod wrap. You make rods up with this stuff. I've run out of the good UTC 220. I like very very strong thread. I'm using a Mustad 2 watt hook. I don't know what this metal is. It is magnetic. Uh, but it's not very heavy. In this case, I don't really want this fly to be heavy anyway. Basically, thread up that hook. I am going to put marabou at the back. Brown marabou, primarily because that's what I have. Now, I don't need a lot of bulk up front, so we're just going to tie this in at the back. It's going to be a relatively short fly with a big hook. And I'm doing that because I'm actually fishing for crappie and bass. Alright, let's put another one in front of that one. I don't need two, I just need one more. Whoa. Okay, I need two more. I'm going to make this a layered fly. It should go through the water hook down. I'm going to put that last wrap right about the point of the hook. Right above the point of the hook. Alright, I'm going to tie in a couple of these feathers pointing back. I'm probably going to use four of them all together. Put that will lay right on top of there. Just like this. You know, I really think these things look like a catfish. Or maybe a great big tadpole. Get another one. Do the same to this one. It's got something stuck in it. Well, it's just going to have to have something stuck in it. Right there. Yeah, there's my buddy. Send me a text message about breakfast Friday morning. Okay, make sure that looks. That looks pretty reasonable. That's shaping up real nice. I'm going to tie in another set of these really nice little black feathers. That iridescent, I think I need to take advantage of that. So I'm going to put that one a little further up. Excess out of the way. Do the same with the other one. I want that iridescent. Oh, yeah, that's staying put. Okay. That gives me four of those feathers. 
just right around the head of this fly. Check that side. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's looking good. Oh, I know I said I was only going to add black. I was going to make them all black, but I'm going to use one of these hackle feathers to add just a tiny bit of hackle. The smallest amount of yellow I can get away with. Capture that thing right there. Give this a few spins just to get some yellow in this fly. Just a little tiny bit. Not enough to turn them off, maybe just enough to turn them on. We'll see. Pull all that back. Get a good latching on it. Lash it down, pull it back. And get that stuff tied down so it lays flat. There we go. There we go. Now, now time to start spinning some hair. Actually, I'm not going to spin it. But now it's time to add the bucktail. I do my bucktail a little different than most folks. I'm not stacking it as much as I am positioning it facing backward like this and then letting it flare out just a few wraps there. I'm going to do the same underneath the fly. This is where you would be able to add in the extra colors if you wanted to. I'm going to give this fly a pretty good head. See, I'm going to put that on the bottom. I got one good group on top. And now I got one good group on the bottom. There we go. Good. It spread out the way I wanted it to. Now, you take all of this and you push it back over top. Spread it around the hook. It will spread out around that fly real nice. Now you start wrapping in front. You're going to build up this head. I'm going to try to capture that. I may come back with super glue or goop so I can get this stuff to lay flat if I don't cut it off. This black thread's working good. My hand's cramping up. Hands are sore. There we go. Now it's laying flat. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the profile I'm looking for right there. I'm going to put a half inch on this thing. A couple of them. Way right back here. I'm going to put some glue on that. And there you have a relatively simple mushroom fly. Oh, I like that iridescent back there. It's got just a tiny bit of yellow. I don't think it needs any flash. If you were to put flash, it would have been it would have gone on after the yellow feather. You could have a little bit of that. I probably could have used some. I've got some dark blue. Uh, it's almost black flash stuff. Let's cut this thread off. Let's put a little bit of super glue on the top of that thing. Well, once that thread gets a hold of super glue, it just it becomes a solid mass. It ain't going anywhere. There, there you have it. One muddler. More or less muddler. It's a hair bug. I got just enough on the bottom to help guard that hook. It's a relatively small fly. It ought to be relatively easy to cast. I can trim it back if I want to, and I might do that. 
trim back the head so it's got a good profile to it. That's a good looking fly. Easy to build too. I probably will come back and trim that head back. It just kind of depends. I'll use it first, see how it acts in the water, and then trim it accordingly to get the action that I want. And if the fish don't like it, it'll get a real butcher job. I'll keep whacking at that fly until I get something that attracts their attention. Thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.